Welcome to Kidney Pair Donation 101, an educational video designed to introduce you to the basic concepts of kidney pair donation. The terminology associated with kidney pair donation can be confusing. Some of the terms you may hear include daisy chain and need chain, which stands for never-ending altruistic donor, or in other cases, non-simultaneous extended altruistic donor chain. Other terms include kidney exchange and kidney swap. As you will see in the following slides, the concept behind kidney pair donation is similar regardless of the terminology used. An important concept to understand is why kidney pair donation is necessary. Approximately one-third of patients who need a kidney transplant and come forward with a potential living donor have incompatibility with that donor. This incompatibility may either be due to blood type incompatibility or cross-match incompatibility. In other cases, there may be a wide age discrepancy between the potential donor and recipient, and thus they may choose to participate in kidney pair donation in order to find matches that are closer in age to both the donor and recipient. Other times, a recipient and donor may be seeking a better genetic match for the recipient. Here is one example of patients who may enter kidney pair donation programs. Two friends come to a transplant program. One friend hopes to serve as a living donor for the second friend. However, the two friends are found to be blood type incompatible. In another example, a parent wishes to give a kidney to their young child. However, the parent is blood type incompatible with their child as well. In this next example, a husband and wife come forward to a transplant center. The husband wishes to donate his kidney to his wife. However, there is a positive cross match between the two, which means that the wife has antibodies against her husband. A positive cross match between a husband and wife can be common, particularly if the woman had multiple children with her husband. This is because the woman has been exposed to her husband's genes through the pregnancies with their children. The next example is a grandfather and grandson. The grandfather is 69 years old and needs a kidney transplant. His grandson would like to donate a kidney, however the grandson is 23 years old. This pair, although blood type and cross match compatible, could choose to participate in kidney pair donation because participation could allow the grandfather to receive a kidney from someone closer to his own age, while the grandson could donate to someone who is young and may have more years to benefit from receiving a young, healthy kidney. A very important person in kidney pair donation programs is the altruistic donor. An altruistic donor is a person who would like to donate a kidney to someone in need of a transplant, however, does not have someone specific in mind to donate to. Altruistic donors are also known as Good Samaritan donors or non-directed donors. Within each kidney paired donation registry, numerous groups of incompatible donor and recipient pairs participate from many different transplant centers. The more people that participate in kidney pair donation, the better the chance that recipients and donors will find good matches. The matching process occurs using sophisticated software that looks at all of the potential donors and recipients who are participating in a particular kidney pair donation registry. Usually, the software that the kidney pair donation program uses to find matches is run several times per week or once a month in order to try to match donors with recipients. Thus, the matching begins. This next example illustrates the first kidney pair donation transplant chain that occurred at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell on Valentine's Day 2008. Our transplant program worked with the National Kidney Registry in order to find potential matches for our incompatible pairs. In this first transplant chain, an altruistic donor from California was involved, as well as two sets of spouses and one father and son. 
For the two sets of spouses, the wife was in need of a kidney transplant and the husband wanted to donate. However, both wives had antibodies against their husbands, causing a positive cross-match. In the case of the father and son, the son was a five-year-old boy needing a kidney transplant and his father wished to donate. However, the blood type of the father was not compatible with the blood type of the son. As you can see, the altruistic donor gave her kidney to the wife of the first pair. That woman's husband then gave his kidney to the wife in the second pair. Her husband then gave his kidney to the five-year-old boy who needed a transplant. The boy's father then became a bridge donor who could start another transplant chain at a later date. You can see that there are similarities between the altruistic donor and the bridge donor. The bridge donor no longer has a specific recipient because his intended recipient, in this case his son, has already received a kidney through the transplant chain. The bridge donor is now free to start another transplant chain once an appropriate recipient is identified. There are several options for the bridge donor. One option is to continue the chain forward at a later date once a potential recipient is identified through the registry. A second option is for the bridge donor to donate their kidney to a patient on the waiting list for a deceased donor kidney. This may occur if there isn't a match recipient within the registry or if the personal situation of the donor is changing and they cannot wait to donate. In some KPD programs, specific groups of patients waiting for a deceased donor kidney may receive a bridge donor kidney, specifically children or patients who have high antibody levels against their potential donors, who are known as highly sensitized patients. Geographic distance is not a barrier to kidney pair donation. Often, the transplant chains generated through kidney pair donation involve donors and recipients across the United States. Research has shown that shipping a living donor kidney across the United States does not have a negative impact on the function of these kidneys. This enables kidney pair donation to be a national process, which greatly improves the ability to find matches for incompatible donor and recipient pairs. Here is a list of the major kidney pair donation programs that are currently active in the United States. Each represents collaboration amongst various participating transplant centers. We would like to close by showing you a real-life example of a kidney transplant chain that began with an altruistic donor. Pictured are just a few of the donors and recipients that were involved in this chain which enabled transplantation of 11 people who might not otherwise have received a kidney. We hope you found this brief introduction to kidney pair donation interesting and informative.